Hello guys and welcome back to the garage. As you know, I'm tuning my Vespa here and it's time to install a new variator kit, a Malossi Multivar 2000. Here you have the part number 5111885. So first of all, we have to remove the belt cover here. We're also going to uh, loosen the box for the air filter because it's a bit in the way and I'm also going to install a new air filter later on. And uh, so we have to remove these screws here, around, and then inside here we have the nut for the clutch, so that is also going to be need to be removed. As I mentioned, I'm removing the air box to get some more space. First one, here comes the second one. So now the airbox is loose here. So I'll get some more space so that I can reach this screw in here. I think in total it's 10 screws that need to be removed here. This one sitting in here has a ground cable attached to it, so you don't forget to uh, put that back with the screw when you mount it again. And then we have one up here. I'm going to show you to give me some more space. I can remove this screw here. Like so. And the last here, in the last bend here, you have a screw from the inside you need to remove to get this away. So, you take a 10 mm socket from the inside here to remove a nut here. Here it is. So, one screw here and one nut on the inside here. And now, we have that removed and that will give us some more better access <coughs> to this one. So now all the screws are off and uh, we have the nut for the clutch here. And uh, this usually means you need a special tool to put in here to lock it so you can remove this. And I have no intention of buying this special tool because Let's face it, how many times will I do this job? Not very many. So I'm going to try to make some sort of own locking device. You could use an impact wrench here, and then you probably will get it loose without any locking device. So I'm going to try to just put something in here that locks it like that. A 90 millimeter socket. came off fairly easy, I must say. And we also have a uh, washer here. You also need to remove this for the oil here. Now, this should be ready to remove. Like that. So here we have the clutch, Oop. belt, and behind here we have the variator. So now we need to remove this nut and this wheel here to be able to reach the variator. Once again, you would need a special tool to lock this to remove the, the nut if you don't have an impact wrench. Make sure to put this back so you don't get dirt down in the oil. I'm going to try to remove this without the tool, because I don't have it. Once again, a 19mm socket. We're going to see if I can rely on my old crowbar here. I think we can. <coughs> yes. That works perfectly fine, locking it with this. Here 
here is a, another washer. Okay, so here we can remove the belt. Can charge it also. There we have the clutch. And here we have. You can see here we have another washer here, so you don't lose this one being on the inside of this. Putting it. Here. Now there might be some rollers or so coming out here. Here we have that. And we have these ones. With the variator kit here, you get the installation guide on how to do this. So that's good. In this set, you get 12 sets of rolls, being two different weights. And if you read here in the manual, if you have a 250 to 300 cc bike, you should have six rolls, each weighing 15 grams. So you're going to pick out the 15 gram rolls. Okay. These can only fit one way, so you can do this wrong, like that. Okay, so there we have it. Then we have this one going in like that. Now this is fully assembled. We'll put it back. Like that. So now with the variator in uh, in place here, we need to go ahead with the clutch to change the spring in here. It's time for the new spring here, so we need to loosen the nut here. It's a 46 millimeter socket that you need for this. Uh, you need someone to hold it. Uh, so let's try this. So just loosen this a little bit because if you remove it, the spring, the spring that sits in here will pop this up. So you need to be a bit careful. You need to hold this down like this so you don't get it in your face. Like that. Here it comes. So this is the old one. 4,000 kilometers. Looks like crap. Here you can see the difference between the new one and the old one. I can't say that I feel any big difference in uh, bounceness. In bounceness. <laughs> but obviously this is shorter. And then you have this uh, little yellow thing here that you should put on top. Uh, I don't think it's absolutely necessary. It's a torsion control. It's very good to have four hands. Mm. Now we just need to tighten it. Not very hard to push it with the hands. No. Now it's just to tighten it and we are done. So let's pop this into place. Like that. And then we have a new belt from Malossi here. And uh, you have different ones, uh, I think it's three or four different kinds of belts you can buy uh, with different materials and so on. So this is, you know, the, the mid-range 
It uh, has the number 6113027. So we can. This one is gonna go like that when you speed up. So this is gonna be a small one and this is gonna be a big one. So when yeah. you stand still, it's gonna have a small one and this is gonna push them together to create a big sprocket. And this will go down to smaller. So when you come to a certain revolution of the engine, the clutch will go out and grip and then start to, mm. yeah, to pull, so to speak. So now the belt is in place and make sure that uh, this distance is all the way in. So you get the splines here. Uh, so they line up with your, uh, this wheel uh, and then you have your washer that will go here so put the washer on and then like that so now we have to make sure that the belt doesn't get squeezed or damaged when we will tighten this with the nut so we need to get the belt down a bit on the clutch side so it goes up here so i can get this because if you see here it's not quite all the way in uh, on the splines yet so i need to get this a bit further in so that means I need to get the belt down here a bit and up here. I will remove this uh, little wheel here to be able to squeeze the belt together to make sure it's free from the shaft here when I tighten this. Put both of your washers back in place. Your nut. Then it's just to tighten it. And you're good to go. Then I have to make my special trick here with crowbar to lock it because I don't have the special tool needed. So we'll put this like this and then we will tighten it. Put our this little wheel back. So now that we have everything together again and I've actually also changed the air filter already. Then you can put our cover back on. But while you're at it, you have a lid here. Remove that and you have a small filter in here. Clean that up also, because this uh, collects a lot of dirt, leaves and things. Okay, so now we can put the cover back on, remove the oil cap, and then we can try to fit this again. So now we can put all of the 10 screws back here and then uh, screws for the air filter box and then the last thing we'll do is the nut for the clutch. I'll put my cap here just so I don't drop anything into the hole. And as I said don't forget the ground cable going into this one with this screw here. It's easy to forget. And then we have our two screws for the air filter box. Like that. And don't forget to tighten the cap for the oil hole. Then we are ready to put this back into place. In here first. Just so we put the washer in and then we have our nut for the clutch. Put that in and tighten it properly. Okay, job done. We changed the variator, we changed the belt and so on. An easy job that anyone can do at home with the right tools. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.